In this video, we are going to explore the functionalities of the Nodes 3 replicator. The purpose of the replicator is to create instances of forms, connect graphics, or animate 3D models onto geometries. This effect is also very powerful to create boards of animated numbers and to spread large text lists in 2D or 3D space. Let's start with a basic example, replicating a form into a grid. We are going to use a simple form and instance it using the replicator effect. I'll use the new regular polygons form to create a hexagon. I set it to six sides with two points per side. Then I enable the lines with the default serial connections to close the path. I then go into the effects group and set the effect menu to replicate. By default, I get a grid with two copies. Let's add three columns and two rows. To have the replicas fit into a grid, I use the row offset parameter. The row is made of different columns and one unit corresponds to an offset of one column. I set the offset to half and adjust the gap between the copies for the X and Y axes. Zooming out just a little bit. I then set the grid size based on the gap between copies, so it's easy to add more columns and rows. If I want a non-uniform grid, I can hide some of the replicas using the probability parameter. I set the probability to affect the replicas in both the nodes and the lines, and randomly hide the lines forming a particular replica. Setting the same value to the node's probability parameter will hide the corresponding points. A global seed for the probabilities can be set in the rendering group. Using the oscillator, I can disassemble the grid. I set the oscillator attribution to replicas to randomly offset the copies in the X and Y axes. It's an easy and quick way to animate elements. And by the way, if you want a grid of triangles, that's super easy. Just set the original form to three sides. Let's create a rainbow circle and pass it to the replicator. We can create interesting effects applying a per step rotation to the replicas. The color module features can be attributed to the nodes or to the replicas. When replicating a form, the features of the size module are transferable. For example, the modulate mode lets me distribute two different sizes to the nodes. This feature can be transferred to the replicas. Nodes has a sophisticated system of rotation and orientation. Forms and replicas have their own orientation parameters which can be combined. Let's step away from the replicator for just a minute and concentrate on how the orientation system works inside the form group. When assembling points into forms, the nodes and text can be assigned an orientation access. The fixed mode attaches the axis to the point origin and produces a natural orientation when the form is rotated. This mode also adds an angle to the point when using radial forms like a circle. It's more evident with a rectangular node. The second mode orients the axis to always look at the camera. This mode is very useful in simulating particles. or to give the impression that the nodes are spherical. Let's jump back to our rectangular node to speak about the last orientation mode.
This last orientation mode, look at center, makes the access point to the form origin. Different angle variations for the node or the text are included for all of the orientation modes. One interesting use of the look at center mode is with a sphere. I'll add a little bit of depth here to help visualize that. The possibility to manipulate the orientations lets you quickly create many kinds of procedural 3D forms. So that said, let's try to create a 3D spinner with the replicator. First, I distribute 500 nodes around a circle. I want two points to turn around the circle. I set the node size to modulate, then the modulo value to half the number of points, which in this case are 500 divided by 2, so 250. Changing the phase parameter, I can offset the index of the secondary sized point to fake a rotation. In the animation group, I can automate the rotation. I set the first destination to node's size phase. Then adjust the speed to 500 and play the composition. Now we're going to replicate this widget to form a 3D spinner. We want the circles to be centered on the same plane. To do that, I keep the default replicator grid and instance the form in the Z axis. At first, it looks like what we want, but in fact, by default, the gap is set to 500 in the replicator depth parameter. So I correct the depth, setting it to zero, and change the distribution of the scale through the instance, modifying the scale start parameter. Now our circles are on the same plane, let's focus on the rotation parameters. Rotation has several modes. They can be done uniformly, pass through randomly, or have a per step incrementation. The rotation mode affects all of the rotation axes. With this in mind, we can automate the replicator rotation like we did with the points using the animation module. And here is our 3D spinner. Customizable tweaking all of the parameters that we just discussed. If you are just starting out with nodes, make sure to check out the massive presets library. All of these presets are infinitely customizable and they are a great place to get started. If this is your first time hearing about the Yanobox Nodes plugin, head over to yanobox.com. There's a lot of good information to be found there, including a fully functional free trial version you can try before buying.